Aquarius. What's going on, Aquarius? One of these are already done on blue. You guys can go over there and watch it if you like to. If you would like to. All right, Alphas. Let's see here. You're receiving the tower. What doesn't belong will be taken away. No ifs, ands, or buts. Whatever's trying to attach itself to you while you're rebuilding will be taken away if it doesn't belong. I feel like Spirit is saying focus on your rebuilding, restructuring your new foundation. You, you've held on to what you needed to hold on to now what's trying to attach and it doesn't belong will be taken away okay and let it go with ease if it's if spirit is saying it's supposed to go let it go let it go let it go let it go as you're just going to have problems building on top of this new foundation of yours. Bottom of the deck is the high priestess. Please pay attention to your intuition. Um, the messages that you're receiving doesn't mean that you have to let the whole world know about that. Okay. Blessed. Blessed. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. There's a tower again. <laughs> they, they're, they're not playing with you. There's the sun card. And there's victory and success. Blessed. What did I just say? Blessed. All right. So I'm going to the book for the tower. These tower grand looks for the tower. They just want you to stay focused on your rebuilding. Okay. Okay. They will handle the other situations. The tower card pretends, portends a sudden disastrous change bringing calamity. This edifice is typically shown being struck by lightning. Hopefully I said that right. Struck by lightning, the tower top got. The tower top engulfed in flames, and that is exactly how I initially pro produced it also. However, at this time, I was working on it. Hurricane Irma was threatened and was threatening to ravage Florida. The formidable size and force of this uncommon storm was a cause of significant concern. My home and those of my immediate family were in the, predic in the predicted path for a direct hit. The symbolism of this card took on a more threatening and personal perspective. Would I, in the next 24 hours, also lose my roof to Marcella's breath of God? I tempted fate and continued to work on this image as the weather conditions outside deteriorated. I modified the image to reflect these circumstances. Fortunately, the storm veered away su sufficiently that we were spared any significant damage, but it did do tremendous damage elsewhere. As a result, this tower card will always have a more personal meaning to me. Okay, so because it didn't, I'm going to read from this book, this tower. A sudden, unusual, unforeseen disruption or major change is happening or is about to take place. Even if it appears to be a negative experience, it can lead to enlightenment or a total shift in your lifestyle. In traditional tarot meanings, this card represents the falling tower that eventually crumbles due to its weak foundation. Whichever part of your life you focus on, this is an opportunity to rebuild with a solid, positive structure to make you or the situation even stronger. There are times when the most difficult situations arise in your life. If you choose to, they can act as a catalyst to heal other areas. They're beneficial 
because they're truly your greatest teachers. Learn from the past mistakes, accept them, and integrate them into your life as a step as stepping stones. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This disruption card is a reminder that negative thinking, limited beliefs, ignoring problematic situations, and risky or careless lifestyles must be addressed so this, that, that positive changes can take place. Life has a habit of moving you forward, whether you're ready or not. Whether you're ready or not. Transformation of body, mind, and soul can happen if you view this dramatic time or change as an opportunity for growth. In the future, you may look back and be thankful for this opportunity. Rebirth. The waiting game. Look, prosperity begins and love begins. Bottom of the deck is a celebration. Message. 